Welcome back. I hope the weather is beautiful wherever you are today, but I don't think a view gets much better than this. Chef Raquel Fox joins us today from somewhere very special. Raquel, where are you? Tracy, I'm in the lovely island of Andres Bahamas, which happens to be the largest island in the Bahamas at 2,300 square foot. And we're coming to you from Kamalami Key Resort. With the ocean right there, uh, did you take some inspiration for today's recipe? I certainly did, Tracy. We are having a seafood craving, and in the island, it's always caught fresh. So today, I'm making my delicious, delectable hogfish sandwich. So to start this delicious sandwich, what we're going to do is just make a traditional Bahama fish seasoning. And we're just going to take two tablespoons of salt, dice our chili, and just run the blade of our knife back and forth until it's well blended then season our snapper fillets on both sides and set aside then it's time for dredging so we're simply going to just have our wet egg and evaporated milk mixture and then we have a dry mixture which is equal parts of all-purpose flour and cornstarch with about a half a teaspoon of crushed black peppercorns now, for the dredging part, we just simply take our filet, set it inside our wet mixture, into our dry mixture, set aside, and we're ready to fry these delicious delicacy until golden and crispy. You've got a tartar sauce uh, that you like to use on this sandwich. Talk me through that. Oh, uh, it is my sweet peppery tartar sauce, and it's unlike no other. So I'm going to show you how to quickly put this together. We have about two cups of mayo, about a two teaspoon of Dijon mustard. We have dill pickles going in, some sweet relish, capers. Bell peppers, I happen to have yellow because it's what they had on the island, but you can go ahead and use red bell pepper as well. About half of lemon juice, half a lemon only. And then of course, what makes it peppery is crushed tricolor peppers. And then you're simply just going to mix it all together. And this is certainly the best tartar sauce out there. Okay, time to assemble. My favorite part. So, I have my hogfish already fried till a golden crisp and my homemade bohemian coconut bread. So, I'm just gonna just go over with this delicious tartar sauce. We need a little crunch. So, let's go in with some romaine lettuce, then my snapper. I'm going to add a tomato, just one slice. And then I'm going to add my tartar sauce. Oh, this just smells so good. And we know that food is always better on the beach. And then I'm going in with some pickled red onions for that pop. <laughs> I'm going with some pepper sauce. Here you have it. A delicious succulent hogfish snapper sandwich. You've got another Andros classic and it uses another native ingredient. I have my delicious Andres or Bahama crab cakes and this is made from Andres black and white crabs as Andres is known as the land of crabs. Okay, how does this one come together? So if you have practically about a cup or two of lump crab meat, you're just going to add a cup of mayo. You're going to add some Dijon mustard to that. You're going to add uh, your bell peppers, your green onions, some garlic, lemon juice, and panko. Then if you want a little heat to it, some cayenne pepper, some smoked paprika, mix it all up. 
form your crab cakes as big as you want it or as small as you want it and fry it on both sides practically about three to five minutes per side and you have these beautiful crispy golden deliciousness and I pair it with my delicious guava bell pepper sauce for it or you can also use my delicious sweet and peppery tartar sauce as well and you are dining in paradise chef both recipes look amazing i just wish we were there with you to enjoy them raquel so they are up on cityline.tv everyone go and enjoy them make them at home